The Carolina Panthers last year released Cam Newton. And they brought in Teddy Bridgewater. Fast forward to this season. After a bad season last year, the New England Patriots release Cam Newton. After the last preseason game, decide they're going to go with Mac Jones. The Panthers trade a second round draft pick for Sam Darnold. Move on. They trade Teddy Bridgewater to Denver. Now the Patriots knock Sam Darnold out for a few weeks and Cam Newton is a Panther again. I mean, just <laughs> the story is amazing. But let's talk about it. Dan Valente of the score wrote that the Carolina Panthers are bringing back Cam Newton. Newton agrees with the team that drafted him first overall in 2011. The Panthers announced on Thursday. The deal is worth up to $10 million for the rest of the year. It includes $4.5 million in guarantees and $1.5 million roster bonus, according to NFL Network's Ian Rappaport. So he's making pretty decent money, too, to go sign with the Panthers. And it's funny because when they were looking for a quarterback, I never even thought that Cam Newton would have been an option for them. I didn't even know that Cam Newton would want to go back to Carolina. However, we should give a little bit of a shout out to Cam. I know that he could have been in a situation where he was desperate to play football again, yada, yada, yada. However, I think that it takes a little bit of maturity for Cam Newton to make this decision to return to Carolina, especially the way things ended there. Obviously, things didn't end great. I don't know what Cam Newton's going to do. I mean, you can't help but root for the guy. It's not like he's a problem as a person. I think a lot of Patriot fans who wanted Mac Jones to be a quarterback all admitted that they like Cam Newton, the person. It's just things were so bad in 2020. And I think the Patriots and I think Cam Newton needed that breakaway too. It's going to be interesting to watch him and Christian McCaffrey because they could become the best running team in the NFL. I don't know if he's going to be slinging the ball to Robbie Anderson and, and what his arm is going to do. We saw his shoulder and arm do a lot of bad things in New England last season. However, the run threat that Carolina could be is going to be phenomenal. Now, he and probably others wish that they would have been playing the Patriots again. It would have been the funniest revenge game in the world, right? Because there was a time this year that there was like, hey, pay the Patriots play Carolina. Cam's going to go with New England and have his revenge game in Carolina. However, he would have been playing for Carolina, having to run games against New England. I mean, it's probably the most complicated puzzle in the world when you talk about the career of Cam Newton. But I, I think it makes a lot of sense. I think the move makes sense for the team. I mean, it's not like Cam Newton is a downgrade from Sam Darnold because Sam Darnold has been awful this year. Minus a, a, a pretty good start, which was really on the back of Christian McCaffrey, not on the arm of Sam Darnold. So it, it was an interesting move. I think a lot of people wish him well in Carolina. I think a lot of Patriots fans wish him well. And it's going to be one of those interesting stories to watch the rest, rest of the season because what if he performs? What if all of a sudden there's talks about extensions next year? Why did you get rid of him in the first place, right? <laughs> 